guys, so today I'm going to be doing a get ready with me story time video. I like doing these because I still feel like my channel is a little bit of a beauty channel, but then I feel like I'm also doing storytelling. The last story time video I did was my prostitute experience. I'll leave the link to it in the description box below. Unfortunately, that video got quite a significant amount of negative comments. I'm not going to call it hate. I'm going to call it people's opinions that don't line up with mine. So I got a lot of negative comments on that prostitution video and I see why. Um, I know that not everybody's going to agree with me. It's the internet. It's a free country. Well, most of you live in free countries, I hope. Um, and people are allowed to think differently and a lot of people thought that I spoke very harshly of prostitutes and sex workers. Um, someone even said that the word prostitute was uh, derogatory, which I don't agree with. I feel like prostitute is the correct term. I mean, you could say sex worker. I mean, I don't know. I'm not 100% sure. And I was really sad that it came off that way as me being very disrespectful of sex workers because that was not my intention at all. I was just speaking of one crazy one that I encountered, but I know that many sex workers are indeed real people. They have children. They have no other choice sometimes. I understand that completely. Once my book comes out this week, you guys will, I feel, begin to understand more why I am the last person to be judgmental towards sex workers. Was I a sex worker? No. Was I almost a sex worker? Yes. I was around that lifestyle, so I know a lot about it, and the last thing I would want to do is degrade people that choose that as their profession. Um, so as I'm doing my makeup right now, I'm sure you guys are noticing that my skin is not perfect. I've been really stressed out lately. I've just had a lot going on with this whole apartment hunt. I'll update you guys on that in another video, but it just hasn't been going well. I'm not even going to try to make it seem like it is. It's not. People always comment on my skin saying how it looks so perfect, but it's really not. Um, if you really do like a zoom in on my face and a close up, you'll see my skin is far from perfect. I struggle with periodic bouts of acne. I used to have really bad acne in high school. It happened my junior year. I had the worst breakout of acne on my face. Literally, my forehead was covered. That's another reason why in a lot of my older photos, you'll see that I had like really prominent bangs. And I used to cut my bangs myself because I was so embarrassed about my acne. And now looking back, I realize it's not something to be embarrassed about. Everyone, mostly everyone, I know there's like a few lucky people who don't have to deal with it, but mostly everyone has to deal with acne. And some people have it worse and some people not so much. I didn't have it as bad as some people I know. And I know that for those people, it is a huge struggle and I cannot even begin to compare my acne and my struggle with those people. But I just want people to know that I have struggled with acne. I'm not perfect. My skin has never been perfect and I'm always constantly breaking out. I have very sensitive skin and I've had to switch up my skincare routine so many times. Usually I find that the biggest problem for my acne is the makeup that I'm using. And that's why I'm so hesitant on trying new makeup products. You guys might wonder why I'm always using the same makeup products. Well, the reason is, is that every time I've changed it up and tried to try something new, my face just freaks out. So I don't like taking that risk and trying new foundation or concealer products. I just kind of stick to the same old stuff over and over again because it works and I don't break out and my face is like a ticking time bomb sometimes. I like to experiment with different eyeshadows, different mascaras, but foundation, I'll probably be using the same stuff all the time. When I was in high school in my junior year, people would always make comments. They would always be like, wow, Steph, what's happening to you? What happened to your face? Why are you breaking out so much? Like, what kind of questions are those? As if I'm a doctor and know why I'm breaking out. I'm like, why do people care so much? It's my skin, it's my problem. I couldn't stand it. And I just wanna tell you guys, if any of you are dealing with that, if someone is giving you crap about your skin or about the way that your face looks, oh my goodness, you are not the one with the problem, my friend. You are not the one with the problem. That person has a problem because you know what? Your skin can clear up, but they are an asshole, just so you guys know. People are so incredibly judgmental nowadays, and I feel like it's only gotten worse than from when I was in high school and middle school. I feel like now it's even worse. 
I feel like bullying is more of an issue. If I could go back into high school and middle school and tell myself something and help myself in any way, I would just tell myself to ignore these people. You cannot change people. If someone is mean, if someone is dumb, if someone is rude and disrespectful, that's who they are. That's just the way they've been programmed to think. By trying to argue with them and by trying to make them see things through your eyes, you're just wasting your time. So after junior year of high school, I did manage to get my acne under control. My skin still isn't perfect. I don't think it will ever be perfect. Everyone in my family has perfect skin. My mom has perfect skin. My brother has perfect skin. But the one person in my family that had terrible skin, my father, I got it from him. And it was always so hard for my mom to understand because she was always like, oh, I don't understand why you have such bad skin. So frustrating. What is going on? Frank, are you okay? I think there's like a dog fight outside. I just heard some dogs barking. Well, that's terrifying. Frank, is everything okay? Is the house on fire? What's going on outside? What? Tell me. What? What's going on outside? So yeah, what finally made my acne go away is just time. After high school, my face cleared up significantly. I usually try to stick to the brands Lancome and Estee Lauder. Um, they just seem to be very good for sensitive skin. I also obsessively started using my lotion that I can't find, but it is an Aveo Clear Complexion Moisturizer. Now I'm gonna do my eyes. I don't know what to do for my eye makeup. I don't know, I don't know. Wow, what a difference makeup makes though. I think I'm just gonna do like a really, really natural look. Do we like this lip color? I'm not sure, I haven't used it in a while. I kinda like it though. It's very peachy. I'm just gonna be using my Urban Decay 2 palette, which I haven't used in like ages. Du, du, du. So yeah, hopefully this video can be like a testament to you guys that doesn't matter who you are, um, we are all not perfect. I think I stressed that enough on my channel. I could literally sit here for hours and just do this. Just this. Alva and Alva and Alva again. And I'm just gonna keep it like that. I'm not even gonna put on any kind of eyeliner. I'm just gonna do a little bit of mascara. <laughs> I just literally broke my bronzer. I'm not even choking. You know what? I'm not gonna be upset about it. This just gives me an excuse to go to Sephora, and I love Sephora. Anyways, so now I'm just gonna do my mascara, and I'm gonna start to wrap things up because I actually have to go somewhere. Aww. I like it. It's cute. It's very simple. Oh, one more thing. I wanna do my eyebrows, but I don't really wanna try. All right, so that is my finished makeup look. I'm gonna go and head out and do what I have to do today. But good talk, you guys. I had a really great time sitting here with you. Make sure to click that like button if you like my video and to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. <coughs>